Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Amanda Grace, Fishkill, New York. God will purge the nations. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of the one true living God, may only the truth and power of Almighty God with authority now come forth in Jesus' name. And the Spirit of the Lord says this day, For I, the Lord thy God, my arm, is it too short that it cannot reach? Is my hand too weak that it cannot save? For I am raising up out of the heart of your nation. I'm raising a fresh wind, a holy fire. It's going to be this way, says the Lord God this day. It's going to be a cloud by day and a fire by night that is going to sweep across your nation. For I, the Lord thy God, am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I am he who liveth and died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, says the Lord. Be thou holy, for I am holy. For this is a holy season, says the Lord, a season of redemption, for your cries have come up before my courts. Not the courts of man that have fumbled and manipulated, those that have done blasphemous and egregious things that have grieved the Spirit. You have grieved it, and it has come up to my throne, says the Lord, my throne, and I, the Lord thy God. I'm the righteous judge. I have taken a scroll. I have written down the judgments of the matters of men that are weighing in this hour. It's going to not only tip the scales of this nation, but it is going to sift the church, for my church will come into order, says the Lord. I will redeem my flock from the snare of the fowler, from the hand of the oppressor, from those that wanted to take them. On a trans journey, I, the Lord, never ordained, I never ordained it. And the Lord says, I am calling it back in season. Now I'm calling you, my children, to get under my wings. Take refuge in my truth, my truth, not the truth of this world, not the truth of men. My truth shall be your shield and your buckler as you go forth. For as you do, you are a standard. The Lord will be our standard. For when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. I am raising that standard, says the Lord. Take hold of it, agree with it, for I, the Lord, in this hour, am doing a great purge. A historic purge, a purge of every idol in the lives of those in my church, a purge of those in this nation, those that want to occupy the hill of this land. Woe unto you, says the Lord. Woe unto you, for you have taken laws that were divinely inspired. You have used them against a weapon, as a weapon against your own people. Your own people, says the Lord, I, the Lord, shall take the armor of God. I shall apply it to those I have gathered unto me, and you shall march in this season. You shall run the race with excellence. You shall activate your faith. You shall be fervent and effectual, for I, the Lord thy God, I am a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. Because you have diligently sought me in this hour, I will pour out. I will pour out to you running over in your lives, multiplying onto you every good, every perfect gift that comes from above. I am equipping you. I'm equipping you with it. I'm opening doors that have remained locked for years, for it is an appointed time in this earth. I, the Lord thy God, I shall say, I shall say and have my way in this nation. I shall have my way in Israel. I shall yoke the two ox. I shall yoke them unto me, and they shall do the will of the master that sent them. I am pouring out. I am bringing my people not only out of Egypt. Egypt is coming out of them. The idols coming out of them. The idols are coming out of the highest seats in the land. You may cling to the horns of the altar, but you will not stand in the seat. I, the Lord, have anointed and appointed for such a time. So cleave unto me, my children. Know that I am the Word in the beginning. And in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Receive it. Activate it. It is your weapon right now against a very, very trembling and nervous kingdom of darkness as they have been baited to fall in this hour by my power, your faith. Behold, I have given it unto you this day. Use it. For they shall lift the name of my Son above the nation into the airwaves, into the air. There shall be a shout of victory.
from my people. A shout of victory by the end of this, if you stay the course, says the Lord, the Lord of hosts, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are doing a mighty work in the nations. Lord, purge our nation of anything, Father, that is not of you. Lord, I pray that hearts would turn back to you. That, Lord Jesus, we would have a boldness for who we are and whose we are. Lord Jesus, that you would do the mighty work because, friend, right now in my nation, in your nation, in all the nations of the world, the task is too great for us to do. We can't do it. We have to trust in God. We have to trust in Jesus' name because he will do the thing. Lord Jesus, I pray that we tear down every idol in our nations. Start with our own hearts. Start with our own families. And Lord Jesus, may we see your kingdom come and your will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, that my friend and I get to play a part, that we get to intercede and live at such a time as this. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.